what is going on guys you already know what's about to happen you already know the menu uh, the um, video title already says it all you already know I'm about to do some MW2 modding of the best CFG mod menu of 2014 that is my opinion I still use this one it's really easy to use um, honestly it is personally the best that I have ever found and there will be a link in the description to this menu um, so as you can see I just spawned in this is online this is completely online uh, first thing I'm gonna do and I'm gonna go open my menu up and if, this is of course called arctic patch if you want it is still the best by and for all the people that want to defend their favorite mod menu in the comment section don't bother I'm just gonna reply to you that this is the best one and I'm just gonna I don't know I'm gonna block your comment I'm gonna do something because I honestly don't care I think this is the best one obviously I wouldn't be making the video if I didn't think it was the best one so don't like defend saying like this menu has this this menu has that last one I made the last video of a mod menu I made I got a ton of comments on that one so as you can see I'm activating the god mode here I'm about to go troll some people Alright. So of course they can't kill me. They can't do anything. They're knifing me. They can't kill me. Nothing. Next thing, uh, I'm gonna activate well as I'm teabagging the ground here. Because they can't kill me. Just kill this guy for fun. You already know. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do see you can't really kill from there. Spray. So that's kind of annoying. So, as you can see in just a second, I'm about to turn on my next mod that I'm going to be showcasing here. Which, well, first I'm going to turn on the shoot attacks, the wall hacks, everything pretty much from wall hacks, super city aim, every, every like mild, mediocre hack there is. Next, I'm going to turn on all perks. And then, finally, the nuke bullets. And you can already see. Watch as I shoot the ground, I get a triple kill, I destroy everything, I get another triple kill, get those Harriers, you already know, you already know what's happening. I mean, if you've never, if you've never known that I can do this, um, it's really easy, um, if you guys want, like, a tutorial on how to get this, you can spam me this bad soul, no reload, no pump, shooting it. Uh, that's the all perfect mod working there. If you do that, you do the fast fez, uh, all you have to do is uh, shoot and hold. Um, well, yeah, of course you have to have like a, I don't know, there's like a, some cheater pack mod in there. But you hold square and you hold R1 and it like gives you, um, I don't know, it makes you shoot extremely fast with the spaz. And also. When you use the chopper gunner, you have nuke bullets to burn them. You can also put on unlimited game, which as you can see I'm about to do it right now. Now, like this one menu includes a bunch of cool mods. It has uh, AC-130 mode, it has just a bunch of mods you guys um, uh, It's really your choice what you want to do. Um, you can see I got the nuke there. So, uh, Next thing I'm gonna showcase. Well, first I uh, have to. First I have to get out of this chopper. Of course, the chopper gunner also has new bullets, but the new bullets are increased in the mod menu. So pretty much everything on the map is the same. Um. <sighs> All right. Next thing. Uh, as soon as I get out of this chopper gunner, I'm gonna showcase the next thing. Of course, I can. I'm not gonna really fast forward the video here. So the next thing is the map change. You can, uh, of course, in the beginning of the video, you saw that I could change. There's the spam spaz again, but you can change the you can change the game mode. You saw me change it from team deathmatch to free for all. And now the next thing I'm gonna do is literally change the map, and I'm gonna change it to rust. As you can see, there's not really a lot of people left because honestly, they're all gonna leave. I mean, who wouldn't leave? There's a guy running around just shooting at the ground and you're dying. Once again, this is an online session. This is all online. This is not private match. This is all online. You can do this online. 
And now something that isn't really showcased in the video um, that I really want to talk about that this mod menu has that I doubt any, like barely any CFG mod menus have, like barely. I would get, I would sincerely doubt that they have it. And this feature is called Force Post. Now Force Post is extremely useful because you can't do any of these mods unless you're the host of the lobby, like you would be in private match. But online, it's really hard to get your host. So as you can see, I'm going to change the map now to Rust. But anyway, what I was talking about is that it's extremely hard to get host in the game. Well, it's not extremely hard, but it's difficult. So um, when you put on Force Host, what happens is it, the mod menu like works outside of the game. And what happens is... You can't join people. Like, if you click join session on someone, you can't join them. Let's do this. But, once you start up a match, like, go into a pre-game lobby, like, alright, if you can see, I just died there. And now I'm just gonna put on God mode. Which is extremely easy. Team change. Spectator. Go back. Here we go. Now I have God mode. But, um, what I'm saying is, it's extremely hard, and all these mods, none of them work unless you have hosts. So, force host, what happens is, you go into a lobby, and you can't, like, say you're in a lobby, you can't join someone else's lobby. People have to join the lobby that you are hosting online, which is extremely crazy, which I think is possibly the best mod that there is on the game, because, honestly, I, I don't really know. Honestly, this mod menu has so many features, it even has a kick menu, you can go ahead and it, it, you can click show players and it will show all the people in the lobby and you can actually, if you're host, you can actually kick someone out of the game if you don't like it. If they're being a faggot, it actually has a full functioning kick menu. The kick menu actually works, everything on it works, it's extremely um, useful. Um, next thing, well... First thing, wait, it has like um, a bunch of things that you can really play around with. Like you can turn on color kill feed, like all the things that most mod menus have. But once you get things that stand out on this one, uh, as you can see, I'm turning on super speed, super jump. It's gonna be right now. Turn on super speed right now. I already turned on super jump, and I'm gonna make the time skill slow motion. You can turn on slow motion with this menu, and as you can see, you, know, you can just jump around and it's just a lot of fun. Even in private match, you can do this, but honestly, I think online is better. Like, uh, um, random people will rage. Like, if people have mics, they're like raging, like they're gonna report you. Like, it's a lot of fun, honestly. Of course, it really ruins the point of the game. Like, it ruins the point of the main game. Like, uh, of course, you can't, like, if you're really playing it, you can't really shoot it around if you will. But, I mean, it's a lot of fun. Uh, honestly, some things that I don't show off in this video that are extremely cool about this menu. It has some really cool visions. Like there's um there's one that's called Drugs for the World, Drugs FCW. It messes up your screen and everyone else's screen completely. It's like it makes it like like it's a candy world. It's like ridiculous. I mean if you guys wanna see a video of me doing drugs for the world. Uh, comment down below and say drugs for the world, drugs for the world, whatever. It's extremely funny. Like, um, I had, I joined a lobby and I changed it into drugs for the world. And <laughs> a lot of people started freaking out. <laughs> they were like, what's wrong with my game? Uh, it's extremely funny. Yeah, um, yeah, so, like some of the visions like that, they're extremely funny. Like, drugs for the world, like, you, you would not really play it. Like, it's like pink and light, it's like pink and light blue. It looks like, um, like it literally looks like you're high. <laughs> like you, you move around extremely slow. Like it's just a whole bunch of crazy stuff. Especially in that. Um, something else I don't show off in this video that of course this mod menu has that most of them don't is um, super javelin. And for those people who do not know what super javelin is, super javelin is where you can take a javelin and fire with uh, like unlimited rounds with it. Uh, 
fire as many rounds as you want. Like you get like, well, not as many. It shoots like six javelins. And, and you can also shoot javelins without it having to go into the sky. Like you shoot it, and you shoot it around. And this one also has 18 or 30 mode. And for those who don't know what 18 or 30 mode is, um, by quick quick saying it, it's shooting every shooting every round, shooting everywhere, and people are just dying. Of course, it's not fair, but you already know. So yeah, the 18 or 30 vision, it's extremely cool. Um, you look like it, I mean, you don't look like an 18 or 30 from the outside, but you can like change the gun. Shoot like that 18-130 big gun. I'm pretty sure one of them is patched. Like uh, one of the guns is patched. Like I think it's the, like the one, the second one, not the mini gun. The second one I think is patched. Or something. It doesn't work. I think the big cannon works. Um, I'm not exactly sure which ones work and which one don't. But it does have the AC-130, whatever, whatever you want to call it. And as you can see that um, there's actually a hidden ledge on this oil thing on Rust. I'm pretty sure not a lot of people knew about that. But I always go up here um, just to chill, look over the whole map. And in, in a second, I'm gonna show you that something pretty fun. I'm gonna shoot at a car, and it's still gonna kill people. I'm just gonna aim at the car directly at it. Like directly, I'm shooting right now. I'm shooting at the ground. But I'm gonna shoot at the car. And just so you know, it's free for all, so it's plus 50 per kill. As you can see, I'm getting hit markers by shooting at the car. Apparently, there's people standing behind that car. Or not. Um, something else this mod makes as that, as you can probably see on the screen for yourself, is the huge clip. Now, if you don't see the huge clip on the bottom left, um, you could rewind the video and went on, to, uh, on the part uh, which I had um, the Uzis do wield. I don't know what they're called. I forgot what they're called. I haven't played this game in a while. It just makes your clip really big. Like it will go across the whole screen. But for LMGs, it doesn't look too big. But like for normal guns, the uh, clip will go all the way across your screen and I'm pretty sure I do take out my Uzis in like a second and you guys can see I don't know if you guys are paying attention to that but it's actually pretty cool it makes your um, whole like it makes your clip unlimited you can put as many bullets as you want to your clip but of course you don't start off with it so the best way to fill up your clip is of course to have scavenger so I recommend you guys have scavenger on this and um yeah you can pretty much uh with, with this mod menu you can of course uh unlock all for yourself you can unlock all it has a ton of cool infections um it has good aimbot it has a bunch of like infections that you can give to other people and they pretty much all work it actually has five pages um all right so next um I'm pretty sure you guys have been waiting for this part. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Superman mode. Um, and for those who don't know what Superman mode is, you probably would know it as UFO mode. For those who do not know what UFO mode is, you're about to see it. So, so I'm about to switch to my Uzi. There, see that whole clip on my screen? There, we pick up this um, big machine gun. And just in a second, you guys are about to see what it actually is. As soon as I kill this person, I'm gonna come down here. I'm actually gonna go around the entire map before I use it, but it's turned on. And you guys are about to see it. I mean, a lot of CFG mod menus right now do have this, but you know, a lot of it doesn't work. As you can see, I'm flying into the sky and they're all on the ground. It's pretty funny. People look up amazed. It's pretty funny, to be honest. Dude. They're like, how the hell are you doing this? Um, Especially if you get into a lobby full of mites and you start modding, <laughs> they start raging pretty bad. I'm not even joking, but I mean, if there's no mics, it's still fun. You just get a bunch of kills. Um, you can turn on colored kill feed, which makes it like, you know, the, uh, the kill feed, which is usually like white color, it makes it like, like a baby blue, green, whatever it is. Alright, so I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I'm about to call in the new end the game. Uh, link to the odd menu will be in the description.
down below. We already know. Right back to me. So yeah, I hope you guys can enjoy this video. A lot of people do rage quit when you do this because of course it's not fun when you die so much. So anyway, peace out guys. Have a nice day.